Just a general note before we begin to look at these problems. For this problem set, I'm going to be ignoring significant figures. I know, crazy, right? I think social isolation is starting to get to me. Anyways, let's take a look at these problems. Problem number one, if an electrical circuit has an amperage of 60 amps and a resistance of 4 ohms, what is the voltage of the circuit? So we're looking for the voltage and the values that we are given are 60 amps and 4 ohms. So we're given the current and the resistance. So our formula that we're going to use is going to be V equals IR, which is just the straight up ohms law. So 60 amps times 4 ohms is going to give us a voltage of 240 volts. So the answer for this one is D. Problem number two, a nine volt battery is powering a three amp circuit. What is the resistance of that circuit? So what we're looking for is the resistance and our given values are the voltage and the current. So our formula for this problem is going to be R equals V divided by I. Nine volts divided by three amps will give us three ohms. Problem three, what is the voltage of a 10 amp circuit that is powering a 60 watt light bulb? So we're looking for the voltage in this problem. Our known values are the current at 10 amps and the power at 60 watts. So our formula for this problem is going to be V equals P divided by I. 60 watts divided by 10 amps is equal to six volts. Problem number four, what is the wattage of a 15 amp circuit that has a resistance of four ohms? We're looking for the power and we are given the current at 15 amps and the resistance of four ohms. So our formula for this problem is going to be P equals I squared times R. 15 amps squared, 15 squared is 225. So we have 225 amps squared times four ohm and gives us an answer of 900 watts. Problem five, a 240 volt circuit has a resistance of 16 ohms. What is the amperage of the circuit? So we are looking for the amperage. We are given the voltage at 240 volts and the resistance at 16 ohms. So our formula for this problem is going to be I equals V divided by R. 240 volts divided by 16 ohms is equal to 15 amps. Problem six, what is the resistance of a 600 watt circuit that has an amperage of 10 amps? So we're looking for the resistance. We are given the power at 600 watts and the current at 10 amps. So our formula for this problem is gonna be R equals P divided by I squared. 600 watts divided by 10 amps squared is equal to six ohms. Problem seven, what is the wattage of a 1.5 volt circuit that has an amperage of two amps? So we are looking for the power. We are given the voltage of 1.5 volts and the current of two amps. So our formula for this problem is going to be P equals V times I. 1.5 volts times two amps equals three watts. Problem number eight, a 1200 watt circuit has a resistance of three ohms. What is the voltage of the circuit? So again, we're looking for the voltage and our given values are the power at 1200 watts and the resistance at three ohms. So our formula for this problem is going to be V equals the square root of P times R. The square root of 1200 ohms or 1200 watts, sorry, 1200 watts times three ohms is 3,600 volts squared. Taking the square root of 3,600 will give me 60 volts. Number nine, a 2,400 watt circuit has a voltage of 120 volts. What is the resistance of the circuit? So we are looking for resistance. We are given the power and the voltage. 
So that makes our equation R is going to equal V squared over P. 120 volts squared divided by 2400 watts is going to give us 6 ohms. Number 10. What is the voltage of a 3600 watt circuit that has an amperage of 200 amps? So this problem we are being asked to find the voltage. We are given the power 3600 watts and the current 200 amps. So that's going to make my equation V equals P divided by I. 3600 watts divided by 200 amps is equal to 18 volts. Number 11, what is the wattage of a 20 amp circuit that has a resistance of 4 ohms? So we are being asked to find the power. We are given the current at 20 amps and the resistance at 4 ohms. So that will make my equation for this problem. P is going to equal I squared times R. So the current squared, 20 amps squared, times 4 ohms is going to give me power of 1600 watts. Number 12, a 120 watt circuit has an amperage of 4 amps. What is the resistance of the circuit? So we're being asked to find the resistance. We're given the power, 120 watts, and we are giving the current at 4 amps. So our formula for this problem is going to be R equals P divided by I squared. Oh, see, I have my wife's favorite coffee mug here. Don't worry, it's still just water. It's good stuff. So we have, where, where was I? Oh, yes, R equals P over I squared. So 120 watts divided by 4 amps squared is going to give me 120 watts divided by 16 amps. That is going to equal 7.5 ohms. 13. What is the amperage of a 24,000 volt circuit that has a resistance of 160 ohms? So we are looking for the current. We are giving the voltage of 24,000 volts and the resistance of 160 ohms, which would make my equation for this problem I equals V divided by R. So 24,000 volts divided by 160 ohms will give me 150 amps. 14. What is the wattage of a 240 volt circuit that has an amperage of 15 amps? We are looking for the power. We are given the voltage, 240 volts, and the current, 15 amps. So to find the power, our formula for this problem is going to be P equals V times I. 240 volts times 15 amps equals 3600 watts. 15. What is the resistance of a 12 volt circuit that has a wattage of 36 watts? So uh, we are looking for the resistance in this problem. We are given the voltage of 12 volts and the power of 3600 watts. So that will make our equation for this problem. R is going to equal V squared divided by P. 12 volts squared divided by 3600 watts is going to give us a resistance of 4 ohms. That concludes this worksheet. If you guys have any questions about uh, any of these problems, please just contact either Mr. Broderick or myself and we will answer your questions as best we can. See you next time.